Buongiorno! Today we're going to make a famous Italian dish. Here at Bart's Fish Tales, it's time for a lobster risotto! Okay, so this is a very basic but such a delicious recipe. It's a lobster risotto. So what do we need? Lobster. We need lobster meat. And if you want to know how to um, uh, cook and clean a lobster, a living lobster, click the i button right here. Next to the um, lobster you need a stock of crustaceans that's really important if you make a nice risotto the stock is so important but the first step we're going to do is chop a shallot very fine okay i have my pan on medium heat i add a splash of olive oil could use a bit of butter too to make it a bit more creamy so now i add the shallot and i give it a stir and what i want is to well, soften the shallot. And as soon as the shallot is, uh, is softened, we're going to add the risotto rice. And really use risotto rice. Like, for example, what I have right now, carnaloni. Uh, and I use like 75 gram per person. If you're a bit more hungry, use 100 gram. But the important thing, if you have 75 grams, so this is 150 grams in total, because we have two persons, you have like 600 mils of stock. Okay, so now I add the rice. So I stir until the rice becomes like shiny. And that's the moment I'm going to add a nice splash, well, 30 ml of white wine. Okay, so now the risotto trick. Well, how you make a traditional risotto. So we have the white wine, then we have the stock. Make sure that the stock is really warm. And you add, once every two, three minutes, you add like another 20 meals, 30 meals, maybe 40 meals of stock. Until, well actually what you want to have is that the rice is not dry, or the pan is not dry, but it's not, there's not too, mi too much liquid in it. Actually what we're going to do is make sure that the rice will absorb all these beautiful flavors coming out of the wine and then of the stock. So over medium heat, I add my first scoop of crustacean stock and you stir every now and then. Okay, important is that you season the risotto uh, maybe at the very last point. Why? Well, if you would buy like a, a fish stock, an instant fish stock in your store, it's quite salty. So then you need to add the flavor at the end of the dish. This one I made myself. Um, it's not salty at all, but still I will adapt the flavor, the taste at the very end of the dish. So while the rice is absorbing all these beautiful flavors, it gives me the opportunity to show you my new book, Bart's Fish Tales. I'm really proud. We've traveled 10 countries around the globe to fish, to cook, and to live together with the most amazing sustainable fishing communities. And we made over 100 recipes. And one of the recipes we made is this one, a lobster risotto. Actually, we made it in Nova Scotia, where they catch uh, a lobster in a very, very sustainable way. If you want to know how they catch the lobster, click the i button right here. Okay, another scoop. Beautiful. Smells already delicious. Meanwhile, I'm going to cut the lobster in small pieces. So this is the tail side. I'm using one lobster for two persons. Then, at the latest point, I will add some parsley, fresh parsley leaves. I cut it fine. So one little more scoop. Actually, risotto rice will take approximately uh, 20 minutes. It's the same like the bomba, the paella rice. So we're now around 60 minutes. Um, and it comes now close to being al dente. I give it two more minutes before we're going to add the lobster meat. Okay, so we're almost there. I'm going to add a good knob of butter to make it a bit more creamy. I add the lobster meat and I add the parsley. So actually what you do, you just warm the butter, you warm up uh, the lobster meat and then it's time to season the dish. First give it a taste. Mm. The rice is perfect, it's perfect al dente. I give it a bit of salt, I give it some black pepper. Time to plate up. Lobster risotto. Mmm, that smells so good. Bit of extra garnish. Get a bit of extra black pepper. 
lobster risotto. It's time for a taste. And actually this recipe, let me first taste. Mm. Wow, delicious, just al dente, beautiful flavors. Yeah, what I wanted to say guys is you could use the same stock, the same base to make a risotto with prawns or with langoustines or any crustaceans you can find in your neighborhood. If you have any comments, any questions, leave them down in the box below. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon on another Fishy Friday.